I will show you how to integrate C++ subsystems into your project. If you don't know what subsystems are, then watch the video from the Unreal Engine channel about it. It's the first link in the description. In summary, subsystems are singletons with a fixed lifespan. First we will create a world subsystem and later in the video we will create a tickable world subsystem. There are multiple subsystems in Unreal, like game instance, local player world or tickable world subsystem. First we create a world subsystem and later in the video we will create a tickable world subsystem. Once you selected the subsystem and the CPP files are created and compiled without errors, that's it, and the subsystem should work. For this tutorial, I will show you the initialize function, a custom function, and a variable you can call in Blueprint. With Rider, I can create a function definition automatically. If your IDE can't do that, create a function yourself in your CPP file. The code in the initialize function will be called every time you go into a new world instance. For our example, I will create a log entry here. Next I create a definition for my call this in BP function with another log entry. Here I would recommend you to compile the code and restart the engine. For me the engine crashed on startup, but after restarting everything worked fine. If we look into the output log, we see that our subsystem is working. Now I will create a new blueprint actor which should access the function and variable in our subsystem. In the event graph you can just get a subsystem with get and then the name of the subsystem. And from the subsystem I can now access everything I defined in the code. I will call the function a tick to see if it works. Nice. Let's have a look at the tickable world subsystem. This behaves like a world subsystem, but it has a tick function. I will now create a class that inherits from tickable world subsystem. In the header file, we first overwrite the tick function. This tick function will output every tick this log. But if you try to start the game now, it will most likely crash every time and you will probably see this error message. To fix this, we have to overwrite one more function, the getStatID function. Inside of the function, delete the return and write the following macro. Return quick declare cycle stat. Inside of the brackets, first write the name of your subsystem and secondly write stat group underscore tickables. And now everything should work. Let's try it out. Nice! If this helped you, give a like and subscribe. Bye!